Ok folks, a bit of info on the PVC pipe blades. Um, you can see some up in the air they're spinning away and practically no wind. They're, uh, the blades themselves are a metre long. Um, to the hub, nearly 1100 mil. Ok. Back here on the ground. What we can see is um, the result of an accident at Christmas time. Okay, that's when I was trying to demonstrate the tail furling. <coughs> and uh, I was somewhat stupidly pushing the uh, pushing the tail around with a broom, and I slipped with the broom off the tail and through the blades, which had that kind of impact. That's not a reflection on the PVC, I think most materials would have done that. The turbine was spinning at about 300 RPM, so it's a very stupid thing to do. What I'm going to show you here is how easy it is to fabricate these blades to test various um, wind speed scenarios to change the tip speed ratio. And the profiles produced here have all been um, made using the Warlock Online um, Profile Generator, which is an excellent tool, I have to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this broken one. Okay, that's going to be trimmed down to a 600 mil blade um, with a low TSR. I just want to experiment and see what sort of speed I'm going to get by going from a meter down to 600. And the low tip to speed ratio means it's quite a wide blade. The one next to it is a 700 mil blade. That one's already made with a higher tip to speed ratio as you can see it's effectively just a bit thinner along the whole profile okay and that's going to be another one of those blades there and the piece of scrap at the end is going to be the third blade so I've got some material to find to make up three of these ones here otherwise we'll cut them at the same time that one there in fact <laughs> okay so what I'm going to show you next is how to actually cut these out, or the method I've used for cutting them out, which is very straightforward and very simple. Um, again, the reason for using the PVC is, is extremely quick. So if you want three sizes of blade, you mark them out very quickly, cut them, finish them, drill holes in them, job done. So you don't have to waste the time and effort on making blades for your area. If you're not sure how they're going to perform, you can do several pretty quickly. Okay. okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, use an existing blade to trace around onto some of the scrap PVC and uh, mark out the other blade. Okay, so we've now got the contour of the other blade, one more new blade marked out here. I'm going to repeat this exercise and then we'll get busy with the angle grinder which might surprise you but it's the quickest way to hack these out.
Okay, so that's both of them marked out. Put it back on because that'll dry up. Okay, next is the grinder. Okay, so next we're um, cutting out these blades with an angle grinder. And what I would say is I'm obviously very comfortable with this. Um, don't use any power tools you're not comfortable with. But this is the fastest way because of the curve of the pipe. Um, you could do, rather than going for a curve on the blades, you could just cut them straight and do them with a hand saw. Uh, but either way, be careful. All right.
There we have it, one new blade. Okay, here we have three completed blades. A couple of words about the PVC. Um, I don't panic about it too much. With regard to its structural ability, it seems to be pretty flexible. That's four millimeters thick. Um, but as I've said in previous videos, test any material you use to make sure you're confident that it's up to the job. Um, the only other thing are the uh, silver tips on the blades, which everyone might think I'm obsessed by. I just put something on the tips of the blades because there are a lot of birds around here. Although there are no recorded incidents of mini turbines killing birds, uh, I do feed the birds. So I thought if I put something shiny on the tips, at least it gives them a chance to... Uh, see them when it's spinning round so it's that simple if you're living in a neighborhood um, with street lighting or a lot of lighting you'd probably upset the neighbors by doing that okay let me just show you how flexible these blades actually are and like I said that's four mil PVC I wouldn't use anything less than that um, and if you buy some material, bend it and it shatters, then just forget it. Okay. Okay. Um, just for those people that are still worried about this PVC pipe, like I say, it must very much depend on what you source, but here's an example of how I'm trying to break this scrap up now. Okay. And as you can see, there's practically nothing I can do to snap it now. The thing that might be important here is the temperature today. It's quite warm. Okay, so let's keep going at it. And finally, we managed to get it apart. Now, when the blades previously just shattered, it was December. So that obviously has a large bearing on uh, how this material performs. Okay, that's it, real quick one. 